Well, hey, this is Marty, the ham radio guy that's new, coming to show you another feature with the Yaesu FTM 200D. That's the North American version. A lot of cool stuff on this radio, um, which is what attracted me to it. Uh, one of those features is uh, lower end waterfall display. Um, you can trigger that. And I'll show you just kind of kind of the main way I looked at this. We're in VFO mode here. And you can see you're getting a real-time display here. And for whatever reason, this particular one, I don't think there's anything going on. Some of these frequencies have been had a lot a high noise floor, but there doesn't seem to be actually anything actually happening there. But you can look right where it is and tune yourself. To listen to it without having to do just a scan where you're just seeing numbers fly by or something like that you can actually visually check to see if there's something going on and take a listen see what's happening so super cool but if you're just in the mode like this you're wandering through the wasteland who knows what's happening in these places as you can hear I'm not picking up anything but some noise at the moment so, interesting, but it's not very focused. And yeah, that's one of the things, like, if I were to set up a repeater... Well, that's cool. So anyway, so there it is, you know, obviously some fun discovery going on there. We're going to go back to memory mode for this next little demonstration, so I'm going to turn off this display, and I'm going to hit memory. So now I'm... Um, looking at the memories that I've saved. And you'll notice at the very top here it says M-All. That means we're looking at both VHF and UHF or any other frequency that's available on this radio. We'll be cycling through those different options um, when you scan. So here's the cool part. You hit display while you're in memory mode you will just be looking at an active waterfall display that just covers your memories. So maybe you're having a conversation on a repeater, but you want to kind of keep an eye out for a conversation that might be helping else, happening elsewhere. Well, you can easily do that without having to have dual repeat or something like that that can be uh, fairly confusing when you're listening to two conversations at one time. So just thought I would put that little tip out there. Hopefully that helps you. Don't forget to leave a like and check back for more content in the near future. This is Marty signing off for now, 73.